So after the 2020 Clearinghouse went live, and we just covered all that in our previous video, now that we're approaching the one year mark, remember all of your limited queries are due. I'm gonna be giving you the information that you need to know to make sure that you stay in compliance with the FMCSA Clearinghouse so you are not gonna to wanna to miss this video. Welcome back, I'm Ryan, the DOT guy. Go ahead and help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and ring that bell so that you and your team can be notified when we're coming out with new information that can help you stay off the radar. Clock is ticking right now, y'all. If you haven't done it already, you have got to run the limited queries on your CDL drivers that are in your drug and alcohol testing program immediately. The deadline is January 5th of 2021. That'll be the exact one year that this clearinghouse has been running live. So beware because the scam calls are coming by the millions now. You're getting emails, you're getting phone calls, you're getting text messages. Everybody's telling you you're in violation. Heck, they're even threatening civil action. The aggressive marketing campaign says you're in violation. We're going to fine you. You got to really pay attention. So first off, just so you know, the DOT and the state agencies, they don't send letters like that. Okay, these are all third-party com companies just trying to get your money overcharge you and half the time they don't even do the work. So you need to use your third party service providers, companies like mine, Front Range Compliance Services that are helping you with this or you have to do this yourself. Now remember, you have a couple different options. You can do the limited query or you can do full queries. The limited query is the query that is done you know, at least once a year. You can do it more often, but it is at least once a year. And it had to be in run, limited queries had to be done sometime within this 365 day process. So you've got to get them run again by January 5th of 2021. Now, here's an example of the query consent that we give our clients that they have it in the file. It says the feds say that on that limited query, it has to say the term that you can run the, the queries. It has to identify the company and it has to identify the employee and they have to sign it. Now, what's really important is, is that you get this and you have it in the file so you can run the, the limited queries as needed. If you need a full query, remember, let me go back to that federal site. That full query has to be done in the system and the driver has to individually log into it and give you consent through that, that online portal. They cannot, you cannot just run a full query. It basically, if I request a full query on say old Joe, old Joe has to log into the system and give me consent to do that. So that's why the whole purpose of the limited query is for is to kind of circumvent that and speed up your process. Now, if you need to do a full query, if one of these limiteds comes back with a violation, then absolutely, it'll automatically send a note to old Joe who was hopefully registered within the clearinghouse. And it's going to say, you know, the company needs to researchers can, uh, requesting a full query of your record. So this is just a general consent um, that you should have for every CDL driver in their file. It just says, I have them print their name legibly, hereby provide consent to, again, this is a template, company name to conduct a limited query of the FMCSA driver's license drug and alcohol clearing house to determine if a drug uh, um, or alcohol violation about me exists in the clearing house at any point during my employment with and then your company name. So that says the term, we've got that covered. And it also goes on to say that I understand that if a limited query is conducted by the company named indicates that a drug or an alcohol uh, information about me exists in the clearinghouse, the FMCSA will not disclose that information to the company without first obtaining additional specific consent. And that's what that's saying is it's gonna go turn to the full query and then I as the driver would have to give you consent. And number three, the third paragraph says, I further understand that if I refuse to give consent to the company, then the company must prohibit me from performing safety sensitive functions. So that's why it's so important that you have this form signed by your driver employees, CDL driver employees in, in and on their file. That way, if you need to run these queries you have, but also because it'll show that you have trained them and fully explained to them what the requirements are of the clearinghouse. And you're gonna support this with your information regarding your drug and alcohol policy and the update. That'll be my next video I come out with, a full policy um, update just to kind of show you what that clearinghouse policy edition should look like. Remember, if you, have, if you have any questions or you need any help, 
feel free to reach out to us at DOT University Front Range Compliance at info at frontrangecompliance.com. We'll be more than happy to, to help you out or even help you get a drug and alcohol program that you may need for your company. Take care and be safe.